here in Whistler, British Columbia, doing a starting with an easier hike today. Just got here yesterday and um, heading to the uh, train wreck. Um, I made the person at the hotel laugh. They said, you know, you should check out the train wreck trail. And I said, is that a metaphor? <laughs> they laughed and said, no, there's an actual train wreck from the 1950s um, that's up this trail. It's, it's good to be here also getting a really strong sense of deja vu because I was in British Columbia a lot last fall. And this is, you know, the southern portion of British Columbia. But I definitely remember the, 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 you know, the smell of the outdoors, the atmosphere, the trees, the colors. It's all sort of coming back to me, you know. I didn't even realize that I'm on the apparently the Great Trail, the Sea to Sky Trail, Trans-Canada, so I guess this is a big, longer, huge trail that connects with other ones. Pretty cool. Could be someone's shoe, but it's got like a, you know. Well, this, whew, this upward sloping climb of a trail that I just turned on. I'm doing a loop and heading back to the train. This one's more difficult, said the sign. Makes me a little nervous, not really, just because I'm going into the woods. You know, it's a bit more isolated, but I think it should be fine. I really don't want to go back the way that I came. I'm doing the loop. So I've already turned around, even though it's a harder trail the way back, so be it, you know? Well, I'm closing in, I'm closing the loop. It says this return part of the path is the most difficult set on the sign, which makes me a little wary because it's been really easy so far. So I'm wondering if there's gonna be some cliff <laughs> ridge thing coming up, but so far so good. I'm closing in, sun sets at 5.54 PM. It's 5.06, gonna make it. How about that? This trail weaves in and off the tracks, not once, but twice.
just crossed the suspension bridge. <laughs> suspension bridges are not my cup of tea. A couple weeks ago in Georgia, I crossed one. It's totally fine. It just, it goes, oh man. <laughs> it was late October, 2023, almost November. This pleasant hike I'd completed was the first of many. My autumnal Canadian adventure was only just beginning.